there was a lot of human uh, wildlife conflict. People can lose entire crops, entire fields, entire harvests. They can lose their cattle, and they can lose their lives. In 2007, the foot and mouth outbreak happened, and then, of course, um, the entire district was, was basically cordoned off. Habu is quite isolated. The economic activities that take place mainly are just for subsistence. There is not a huge market for any of the activities that are happening. We have got uh, quite a lot of wildlife in our area and we therefore looked at what are the possibilities of us trying to benefit. The community therefore asked me if I can help them facilitate in setting up a trust. The vision is how do we promote a sustainable management of wildlife? How do we increase the supply of domestic meat? How do we then put in place the supply infrastructure to help the community benefit from this? That's what the sustainable wildlife management project uh, has envisioned for the people of Habu and of course um, the cherry on top being the establishment of a community conservancy. What we are trying to do here essentially with the community conservancy is creating a whole diversified microeconomy Part of the agreement was that we must zone our land in three different uses. A wildlife management area, crop farming, and then we can have cattle. We're trying to set up a proper community governance system. So the way we have modeled those from communal conservancies that exist in Namibia. The whole idea behind the work that I do is to ensure that the community is in a position to identify business opportunities to develop them and grow them into thriving enterprises. We're trying to develop the conservancy into a viable tourism area. I want us to develop a tourism product that will be unique, an area where you don't have 50 vehicles at a time following up one lion. And also not only that, you can see and interact with our community. Now the community scout program is operating quite efficiently in terms of patrol and ecological monitoring. That's worked quite well in terms of deterring people from going and hunting or poaching for wild meats into the conservancy. The Heading for Health program is basically working with communities through livestock scouts. And those are the ones who then receive livestock from the villages to create a communal herd and then with that herd, develop a grazing plan. It's really about developing the entire beef value chain. We are also working on a butchery, community butchery, in partnership with the council. In Habu, we have a women and youth cooperative. They are involved in a community garden, and that's one of the projects that we will be working on to help it to find access to finance as well as access to market. We want the community to be in the forefront. We want them to be leading the programs and the projects so that at the end of the, the program, they can stand on their own. I think Habu will successfully demonstrate community coexistence. And from Habu, these lessons will spread out and be replicated across the district and across the country.